All right, my friends, what is going on? It's me, it's Jacob McDonald. Welcome back to another reaction video. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a new environment. This is a new setup for me. Uh, I'm actually using my Mac computer that I brought to Australia with me. I'm sitting here in Rockhampton. For those of you following along at home, for those of you who have any interest in my personal life, you'll know that I have moved countries in the last couple of weeks. This is the first time I've actually felt settled enough, even though I am going to be moving out of this particular place in a couple of days. But this is the, the moment that I, <clears throat> I've woken up this morning, it's a Wednesday morning, I, I feel settled enough to sit down and create. Create videos, create reaction videos. I mean, I don't ever want to call myself a specifically reaction channel, and I never will. But for those who do enjoy these videos, for those who only come to my channel for the reaction videos, these are for you. I'm doing it this morning. This morning's date is February the 24th and it's 7.50 a.m. So I'm gonna go and get a coffee as per usual. I'm gonna sit back down here and we're gonna make some content. Let's do it. Okay, so the first video of the day has been highly requested. I've brought some sprinting videos to my channel recently and I've focused on a guy named Matthew Bowling, and from what I've seen so far, he is the, the the most exciting sprinter, at least from the US, in my opinion, being that he's only 20 years of age, and this particular video that we're gonna watch, that you guys have told me to watch over and over again, actually came out almost two years ago, okay? So we're in February right now. This came out in May 2019. This is Matt Bowling, with a 44.74 comeback in a 4x400 meter race. It's the bo it's not even the men's race, okay? It's the boys 4x400 meter relay. We've got a start list of nine athletes. There must be nine different colleges, I'm no, sorry, nine different high schools, I'm assuming, or nine different athletics clubs. I don't know exactly what it is. I feel like it's a state meet. In fact, it does say in the description. Should I read it? Yes. The video is by Flow Track. It says if I want to if I want to watch more state meets, click here. Well, I'm not going to do that yet, but I am going to watch this with you guys. So, in the last video I looked at uh, Matthew Bowling doing a 400 meter, but it was indoor. This is outdoor. It's a full 400 meter track. And it's going to be absolutely fucking epic. It's a comeback. I don't know how. I don't know how far behind he's going to be, but you know, I'm led to believe it's it's quite a distance. So without further ado, I've talked too much already, um, and let's get into this, man. This guy is exciting, and this was almost two years ago. So let's go. Boys, four by four, six go. A is off. Northside Brennan, Humble Kingwood. Rollette, Straight Jesuit, DeSoto, Klein Forest, Converse Judson, Klein Oak, and Arlington Bowie, all in the CC times from between 312 and 319. So from memory, they stay in their lanes until they reach the back straight, and then they come across. And to give you a perspective on how strong these teams are, DeSoto ranked number two in the nation. Oh, they're struggling already, man. Klein Forest ranked five in the nation, Straight Jesuit ranked six, Rollett ranked, Garland Rollett, Ranks, ranks seven, and then Kingwood is ranked 18th. So four of the top seven teams in the nation are in this race. You also have the fastest man in the country, one of the fastest all time, and Matt Bowling, who will likely anchor for straight Jesuit. So DeSoto's run the fastest time, 312. Okay, so they're still in their respective lanes. I'm wondering, do they stay in those lanes for the whole race? I, I can't imagine they do. And we'll get a sense of where they're at. They're in lane number five right now. Lane number five. Is it lane number five? Straight Jesuit. So DeSoto's run the fastest time, 312. And we'll get a sense of where they're at. They're in lane number five right now. Straight Jesuit in lane four, just behind them, as they're gonna come around the curve and make the break here. Make the break. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. So I had the lead off leg there for you have Brennan in the lead? Who, who's in DeSoto. The lead? DeSoto, their leadoff leg ran just in the mid 47s or faster. Did you have making a solid move there on that second leg? 
I love running. I love sprinting. This is not considered a sprint. But it is a very, very exciting race due to the fact that it's 1600 meters. The race goes for three and a half minutes, but these guys are running at a, at a pretty quick click. You know what I mean? It's not just a 10 second race. It's three minutes and 20 seconds. So let's go. Wow. Look at Straight Jesuit there. Of course, you don't know where they're running their guys. Is that their third best guy, second best guy? I mean, you saw that yeah. workout on, on Miles Foot and Flow Track. Yeah. They've got a team of 400 meter guys. So these guys can run well. DeSoto, obviously. So much history in the relays we saw what the women did just a moment ago, 135. Damn, these guys are keeping the their pace Soto really well. And straight Jesuit behind them. And now a little gap starting to form on this third leg. Oh, what kind of comeback are we going to see? Exchange there. So the question will be what kind of position will Matt Bowling be in for straight This Jesuit? guy in the green, Jesuit. Actually, come to think of it, I've seen Matt Bowling in that Jesuit. Uh, singlet before so I feel like Matt Bowling's school is in second place right now legal time in the hundred one of the fastest all-time marks for a high schooler he ran 46 75 in the open 400 a year who's that who are they talking about one of the fastest all-time marks for Jesuit he ran 10 13 win lead so the question will be what kind of position will Matt Bowling be in Ooh. Straight Jesuit, he ran 10-13, time in the 100, one of the fastest all-time marks for a high schooler, he ran 46 seconds. Now there's some people out there in my comment section on the last couple of videos saying that he's got no hope to be a 100 meter sprinter because he ran 10-13. Mate, that's in high school. Okay, Usain Bolt was not running 9-5-9 in high school. He probably wasn't even running under 10 seconds in high school. You'd have to check that. But I... I doubt it. So with that being said, this guy could do it all. I firmly believe he could be a four, a four time, no, well, I mean, include the, exclude the relays. Okay, it could be a 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, and long jump specialist. Four gold medals at the 2021 Olympics. Let's go. 75 in the open 400 a year ago. You've got to dream big, guys. You shoot for the stars and you land on the moon. That's what I'm doing. Finish Don't hate me for it. Championship. But DeSoto leads right now. Jesuits in second and they're starting to get caught. So we have a tight race here with four of the top seven teams in the nation, not just in the state. Okay, here we go. So DeSoto, what a third leg. Now I'm going to say. Out. So now we're going to see Matt. <laughs> now we're going to see Matt Bowling, all right? Okay, so I'm going to say that's 30 yards. 30 meters in front. Um, so for someone to bring back 30 of 400 meters, I mean, that's almost 10%. In fact, that's 7.5%. So let's go. At bowling, this stadium is on their feet. He's got the stick and they're almost three seconds back. So DeSoto, can they hang on to this lead? They've run a second faster, almost a full second faster. This guy in the front's like, bowling. Don't look back. <laughs> on that back stretch, he has got oh, he so looks, much work to do. He looks like he's this cruising. A huge task if he could do it. DeSoto Bowling. running. 21 almost. second 200 for Bowling. Oh, rolling, God. rolling. 20, 21 Check out Bowling. Second Bowling is catching Bowling him. Bowling is coming. The, Here comes Bowling. The stadium is going crazy right now. People on their DeSoto feet. in first, but Matthew Bowling, the Bowling. fastest man Go, in son. history, is chasing down DeSoto. <laughs> <laughs> the what? The fastest man in history? What are you talking about? The fastest high schooler in history. Matthew Bowling, the Bowling. fastest man in the country. <laughs> okay, fastest man in the country in high school is coming back. He ran a 4.6 point something, they said before. And he's about to run a 4.4.74 in a 4 x 400 meter comeback. Now let's let's just go back a few seconds, alright? Now watch the whole thing. Let's go. Bowling is coming. The, Here the, comes he's the coming, alright. The stadium is going crazy right now. The Soto in first. But Matthew Bowling, the Bowling. fastest man in the country, is chasing down DeSoto. Straight Jesuit is going to take this. Bowling, is he going to do it? Matthew Bowling oh comes up three <laughs> seconds back <laughs> to win the 4x4. Four four. Oh, three, four. Four. <laughs> 45, it, around 45 seconds. Oh, Unbelievable. God, that is the Holy fastest time cow. in the nation. I I, I almost a full second. I guys, that was you might have went under 45. Do you know what I enjoy? I enjoy these commentators, these these high school and college track meet commentators because they're clearly like ex-students or you know they're not professional, and so they're so they're so 
up, you know, they're so into it. And when they see something epic, I mean, you just can't contain your excitement, can you? I, I, I think, I think it, Three minutes and ten seconds. High possibly there. I had a Matthew second split bowling. Of Strike Jesuit. Three, run. three ten, fifty-six. Regaining himself I don't there know where after that, that four ranks by one, guys. I mean, holy right. cow. Very unofficially, I had him in 44.73. <laughs> okay, the last thing we're going to do before we move on from this video, I'm going to look up what straight Jesuit means, because... If that's a school, if that is a school, that's got to be the weirdest name I've ever heard. Houston, Texas, a Catholic school for boys, grades 9 to 12, in the Chinatown area. With over 1,200 students, it's the largest Catholic high school in Houston. Well, all right then, it's actually closed at the moment, but it does open at 8 a.m. sharp Wednesday morning. Now. By my watch, it's actually five past eight, so it should be open, but I am in another time zone. And that is the beauty of the world. It's the beauty of YouTube, it's the beauty of the internet, and I have just brought a really exciting video to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed. The next one we're going to watch is a bit more of college football. In fact, being a Jacksonville Jags fan, um, knowing that they do have the first pick, and knowing that Trevor Lawrence is slated to be that first pick, he's just done his, com uh, his combine, or his, you know, his effective combine at the Pro Day. There are no combines this year, which is extremely disappointing. That would have been an amazing series. It's not going to happen, but what I am going to do is seek out some of my favorite players from the college football season and have a look at their Pro Days. So the first one on the list is none other. Then Trevor Lawrence. He's got a 30 minute video. I'm not sure whether I'm going to watch that one or whether I'm going to watch the shorts. I will figure that out in good time. But thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Let's go Matt Bowling.